Things are going wrong. The media are going to target anything they possibly can. And Nagelsmann, with the way that he is, the way that he dresses, the fact he skates forward to work, is kind of a layup for them, isn't it? Absolutely. And uh, Nagelsmann, welcome to Bayern Munich. I mean, that is all, what it's all about. Uh, remember, they tried to get Haaland. They didn't get him. They lost uh, Dan Lewandowski to Barcelona. And they said, oh, oh, it's so great to play without a striker. That makes Nagelsmann's system so much better. He's much more fl uh, flexible. And then Mané comes and he takes Germany with storm. And, but he can't score goals in the last four games in the Bundesliga. But still they beat Inter. Still they beat Barcelona. And then they start analysing and everything is wrong. And Bill Seid and Kicker, they, they are talking to Hoffenheim and Erbe Leipzig. What, what, what was he like when he was there? Well, they said he was younger. That was point number one. And point number two, he doesn't talk to players when he's struggling. And so they checked out at Bayern again. Has he talked to any players? No, no, no. That is the big, big problem at Bayern. So the last two weeks, he's made so many conversations, Dan. He's to be talking to the players for fun all the time. And then, of course, they come back with a 4-0 win. Uh, and um, they've used the international break well. Were we in doubt that they could come back? No, we weren't. But at the same time, Julian Nagelsmann has showed that he is a human being and not just like I call, call him a lot of times the Mozart of football. He has shown this time that when they talk about his six, Joshua Kimmich, should he be number six or be a number eight in the team? And Kimmich says, ah, I like the number eight. And he says, I don't want to talk about it. Do you miss Lewandowski? I don't want to talk about it. And so on and so on. And Julian Nagelsmann has also done, and I love that a phrase from coaches when they say, we don't listen to anything. Mm -hmm. and, and the last two weeks, they, they, he, has, he has showed us and told us that he listened to podcasts and he's seen some local papers and everything. But of course, Bayern coming back against Leverkusen, winning 4-0, and uh, about the Crisen, the El Crisico, uh, the one who will probably be taken away is Suana, the Leverkusen coach, and not Julian Nagelsmann, of course. Should, but welcome to Bayern. It's childish to mock grown-ups that like to skateboard. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I often think about skateboarding into work here. Oh, man. Down that <laughs> yeah. road. Imagine it. I often think about things like that. Have I you ever skateboarded in your life? Craig, Craig, you will never have a coat a coat like Julian Nagelsmann. And just just to think of you on a skateboard makes me scared. Have you ever done it? I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> yeah, skateboarding is definitely <laughs> not one I, of them. I have many different skateboards at home for all yes. types of weather. Oh, really? But, you know, I don't, I don't think we should... Uh, I, I really think it is rather unnecessary to be discussing a manager's clothing. Really? Really? As I think Archie said yesterday, he's different. Well, you know, it's, like, it's, like, it's like talking about players' hairstyles and blah, blah, right. blah. At the end of the day, we're here along with newspapers and magazines and other broadcast outlets to analyse tactics, decisions, performances, results. And yeah, he's a bit quirky, but he's a bit quirky. He's not going to get sacked for being quirky, He's not going to be successful by being quirky. It's going to be by what's on the field. Right. Not by skateboarding and all this other nonsense. So I think but, they just found a way to try and... It seems to me they're trying to find a way to get at him a little bit, to get under his skin. Yeah, but... Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.